Would yeah. you drink milk straight out of a cow? Oh, Jesus, no. No, I'm not sure I'd like it. I grew up with uh, raw, unpasteurised milk. Joe, the milkman, used to deliver it and pour it out of his can into the bottles. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same. I drink it at home. Like. When any of my friends were coming out to visit, Mam had to buy, as we say, the real milk, because none of the girls or the kids <laughs> drink the stuff from the tank at all. I'd probably be a bit wary of it. I mean, the way I would look at it is that, you know, it's pasteurised for a reason. It's probably a bit surprising that something as familiar as milk from cows is causing ructions. But unpasteurised milk is virtually impossible to buy in Ireland and the authorities want the sale of it completely banned. But a growing number of people are recognising the benefits of drinking raw milk. For them, it's something of a superfood. Raw milk is full of nutrients. It's, it's full of good bacteria that is actually good for your immune system, good for everything. The fundamental issue here is that Consumers have a right to safe food. The only way you're going to ensure that milk is safe for direct human consumption is by pasteurisation. Until 2007, milk in Ireland being sold for human consumption had to be pasteurised. In 2007, however, an EU directive made it legal to sell unpasteurised milk. This is something the Irish government intends to revoke. I went to Louth to meet a farmer who strongly believes in the goodness of unpasteurised, or raw milk as it's known. I'm in a bit of a haze. It's quarter to five in the morning and I'm here to help out David Tierney with his milking so we can have some milk for breakfast. Morning David. Morning Ella. We're ready. Yes. What needs to happen? Well first of all we clean her and yeah. then you just uh, draw the four milk out. The first two or three squirts of milk. And why do you do that? Uh, because it's milk that has been lying in the teeth all so just night. just to make sure the fresh it's just stuff. to make sure it's, it's, it's fresh. David has a herd of 65 Montbelliard cows and he's been drinking raw milk all his life. There we go. Yeah. That goes on easy. That's it. And then up to here? Up to here, yeah. How many litres are you getting off her every morning? About 15, 16 litres of milk every morning. Really? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then you milk her again in the afternoon? In the evening, yeah. It's warm. Well, it's, it? it's body temperature. Yeah. It's blood temperature is the same. So this is the milk from this morning? This is this morning's milk, yes. And you can see it's a different kind of colour. It's more sort of yellowy than the milk I have. So that's the fat, it's the cream. It's yes, compared to the stuff that I, I buy milk. in the shop. Cheers. Oh, that's incredible. Mm, lovely. That's like drinking sort of light cream. It's got a kind of sweetness to it that you don't get in pasteurised milk, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't drink pasteurised milk, so <laughs> have I'll have to me. take your word on that. As far as David is concerned, drinking raw milk is the obvious option. There's no point in, in selling her top quality milk and, and buying it back in a carton for three or two or three, four times the price of it. And have you always drunk in raw milk? Always, always and ever. Never had it any other way. Anyone that was reared on a dairy farm would remember, you know, milk would come into the house and it would probably be slightly warm and you could actually feel the cream and, and the consistency of the milk. It, it was really lovely. Were you ever aware when you were younger of the dangers of drinking raw milk? Oh, not at all. The only danger in, with raw milk was the chance of getting the kick of a cow when you were milking the cow. That was the only thing. So why is milk pasteurised at all? Pasteurising milk means heating it to a high temperature and cooling it rapidly. This destroys potentially harmful bacteria that may exist in raw milk. Any bacteria that are present in the raw milk are killed as a result of pasteurisation and that's the primary uh, role of pasteurisation, to ensure the safety of raw milk. But scientists are increasingly aware that there are disadvantages with the effect of pasteurisation on milk. The heating itself changes things in milk, which may be uh, negative uh, in terms of human health. Studies have been undertaken previously, which have shown that infants less than one year of age who drink raw milk are subsequently uh, protected against allergy and asthma development later in life compared with children who drink pasteurised milk. I'm not recommending to drink raw milk, but as a result of the pasteurisation process, certain things change in milk, and we want to learn more about, uh, about what these are so as to reintroduce them back into uh, foods later on. I think we're actually sterilised out of it at the moment, that nobody has any resistance to any sort of infection or bacteria anymore, because all the food we eat, all 
the drinks we drink is all sterilised, pasteurised, homogenised. All the good bacteria that's in milk is killed in the process of pasteurisation. So I think maybe it's time to take a step back more to nature. Cheesemonger Kevin Sheridan also believes that people should have the choice to buy raw milk, so much so that he intends to make it available in Dublin city centre. We hope to use a system which is widespread throughout Europe, particularly in Italy, but also in the UK, which is a dispenser unit, uh, where the farmer comes in the morning, puts his milk from the morning milking into the dispenser, and then you can just come along and fill up your bottle with really good raw milk from a single farmer. Why are you doing it? Because I really like raw milk. Um, I think that Ireland has got the best milk in the world, and I think that people would like it. It's about really good milk producers, connecting directly with the public, that public knowing where this product has come from, knowing the face of the farmer, knowing that they produce a really good food and allowing that relationship to develop. We've got so many barriers now in the way of that development that we've put in as a society and we need to allow that connection to take place. But if the Food Safety Authority of Ireland has its way, nobody will be allowed to sell or buy raw milk. They have recommended that the government ban the sale of raw milk, and they point to the positive impact of pasteurisation. When we introduced pasteurisation many years back, it had the effect of, of having major benefits to public health. Childhood diseases were eradicated, primarily because of pasteurisation. Perfectly healthy animals carry, on a routine basis, human pathogens like E. coli 0157, in some cases Salmonella, in other cases uh, Campylobacter, and even some Listeria can, can be present. We cannot assure with the best farming practices available that uh, fecal contamination of the milk will not happen. The risk posed by it is such that it merits prohibition. Legislation to ban the sale of raw milk is due next year. Some continue to argue that it should be a matter of individual choice. If people make an informed decision, they know they want to drink raw milk, they know the benefits of it, they know whatever risks is involved, well then I don't see why a farmer should not be able to sell it.